Hey friends, if you've ever needed a push to get through the end of the day, trust me, you are not alone. That's why today I'm sharing my ultimate clean with me to hopefully help motivate you to get it done. Occasionally, I need to breathe. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia and I'm here to motivate you to give you some extreme cleaning motivation and so much more. If you've ever felt like you need someone to help you through whatever it is you're trying to get done, then be sure to hit subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment. So let's get started. So I'm starting here in my master bedroom. I normally try to wash my sheets and comforters at least once a week. Um, I try to do it on Friday, but this particular day I was doing it on a Monday because we went out of town this past weekend, so I didn't get a chance to do it. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, tell me below, how often do you wash your sheets and stuff on your bed? I would love to know. Um, maybe I'm not doing it enough or maybe I'm doing it too much, but let me know in the comments below. the countertop here and also wipe down the washer and dryer and don't forget this is a reminder for you guys to please make sure you clean out your lint from your dryer um, I know it's the winter time a lot of places where it's getting cold and a lot of fires seem starts very easily so please make sure you clean out this is your reminder to clean your lint out of your dryer Never coming down Cause lately I've been dancing on my own So bravely Another round on my mind Hate me But I ain't never coming down Never coming down I'm never coming down I never built a wall to shut it all out But now it's even made of concrete This particle life This particle life What a time to be alive Lately, I've been dancing on my own so brave So I'm gonna go through and put this luggage away. Actually, I have this out because this past weekend, which was Labor Day weekend, uh, me and my husband and the kids did a quick getaway and um, it was just us because we've actually been home since the coronavirus started, which was back in March. We have not been anywhere. So this was a nice little quick getaway that we um, did together. And I'm gonna, so I'm gonna go through and make a pile of dirty clothes here on the floor and then the other clothes that 
we didn't that I didn't worry I'm going to put those back away um it was a last minute trip so we just kind of like threw things together like more clothes than what I really needed so we're going to do that and then I'm going to Lysol this luggage down just because with coronavirus and everything I like to just spray it down never could have been thinking I would know what the future bring all the highs and lows said I'm gonna win though the world might spin now I'm sitting here like I'm no one it rains down on me all the phone calls I'm ignoring see I'm a mess just trying to guess my way through this just don't get enough of me vacuum in the bed I'm gonna go ahead and sweep and mop in here and then I'm pretty much done in this bedroom just waiting for my linen to finish washing and drying and then I will come back in here and make up this bed so meanwhile I'm gonna move on to the kitchen while I wait for the laundry to finish stars, counting stars, and they guide me through the dark Lonely days left in despair Air is getting heavier But I do my best to breathe Dreams of green and while I'm watching this video and um, back over, I actually was thinking about this room. I may even decorate for fall in here. I normally don't touch the bedroom just because it's kind of like it's out of sight, out of mind. I mean, if we do have company, which because of Corona, we don't. But I normally don't come in here and decorate the bedroom. But I was thinking this year, just because I'm home, and just so I can enjoy this space, I think I may decorate for fall in here. Comment below, tell me if you guys decorate your bedrooms for fall. 
or do you just decorate the main living areas in your home? I would love to know just to give me some ideas um, on what I think I should do in here. Okay, you guys, so I'm moving on to the kitchen. Yes, it is a disaster in here. That's why I said earlier, I hope that this video helped motivate to you because we all have to tackle our kitchens every single day, three or four times a day, especially, you know, being home and the kids are here. So this is what my kitchen looks like. I am gonna go and move through it rather quickly and get it cleaned up so I can get ready to make dinner for tonight. I'm filled with this. Life is so much more than this. So where do you go when nothing's like Miss Myers um, to clean my countertops but do you have a different way leave a comment below and let me know I always love learning new techniques I know I messed up yeah I know I did you wrong but I learned my lesson now what if we could move on remember the good I wish that we could go back I know I'm not perfect But at least give me a try I'm sorry for making you feel like You're not good enough Cause you're the best, you know I'm sorry Goodbye. 
apologies Holding back, I got history cleaning motivation helped you before the weekend starts if it did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you want more motivational content from me then be sure to subscribe for more thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye